Organs of the urinary system develop mostly from the nephrogenic cord. In a cross section through the human embryo, we would see the spinal cord, the nodal cord, ventrally the dorsal aorta, the gut tube surrounded by the mesodermal coelom cavity, and we already know that uh, close to the notochord cord and the neurotube we got uh, segmented uh, mesoderm called segmented uh, pieces of mesoderm called uh, somites and now I'm adding the intermediate mesoderm which contributes to most of the uh, organs of the urinary system and that's the that becomes uh, divided into the so-called nephrogenic cord so let's label the structures this would be the neurotube or the spinal cord that's the notochord. cord the dorsal aorta. This is the this is a somite, one of many somites, which uh, is also called the the paraxial because it's close to the body axis, parallel to the body axis, paraxial segmented mesoderm. This is a so-called intermediate mesoderm on both sides. That becomes the so-called nephrogenic cord. And this is just to remind you of the fact that the coelom cavity surrounds the gut tube and the there are two layers of the lateral mesoderm the parietal layer called somatopleuric mesoderm and the visceral layer called splanchnopleuric mesoderm sorry, lateral mesoderm. This is a cross-section. Now in the longitudinal section to the human embryo, we would see the segmentation of the nephrogenic cord like this. This would be the head with the stomodium, the pharyngeal arches, first, second, third, fourth, the heart, the liver, the umbilical cord, let me add also the digestive system with the pharynx, the lung butt, the esophagus, the stomach, the liver butt, the ventral pancreas, the dorsal pancreas, the intestinal loop with the vitellin duct, the remnants of the yolk vesicle, and the hind gut with the cloaca, and the blindly ending projection called allantois and the rest of the hind gut. Then this uh, nephrogenic cord is a mass of material that could be tracked from the from the um, already from from the cervical region. That's where it 
it produces a small uh, rudimentary and temporarily existing organ called pronephros, while in the thoracic region, there, uh, in the thoracic and in the lumbar region, we got a large organ called mesonephros, kind of embryonic kidney. And these are not the final forms of kidney, but these uh, uh, organs are drained with uh, with a tubule, with a pronephric tubule, which is even which even does not have any lumen, lumen because the pronephros are not producing any urine in hum human embryos. But the mesonephros, they already got a luminized a duct. Which in the sacral region branches into a ureteric butt, which t together with the surrounding mesoderm will give rise to the final form of kidney. However, this this uh, this duct goes to the cloaca. So we understand that the cloaca is a common uh, common segment of the uh, hind gut and the urinary and genital system. So let's label the structures. This is the segmentation of the nephrogenic cord into pronephros in the cervical region, right? This is pronephros. And this, all this, is meso the mesonephros, a huge embryonic organ. And there is a pronephric duct. It doesn't have a lumen, even in human embryos. But we got a mesonephric duct. Also named Wolfian duct with W O L double F A N Wolfian duct. And this will be the metanephros also known as the final form of kidney. It's made of two components, the ureteric butt, which is a branch of the mesonephric duct, and the metanephrogenic mesoderm. So all the green structures come from the mesoderm. This is the cloaca, terminal part of the hind gut. And this is a blindly ending allantois, a rudimentary fetal membrane. And this is the intestinal loop. As a part of the umbilical physiological umbilical hernia. In next schemes we will, we will describe the development of mesonephros and the development of the metanephros and development of the cloaca. One more point in this embryo we will, we will also see the, the, the body segments, the somites here dorsally, but I would like to point out that the Segmentation pattern of this mesoderm, paroxysmal mesoderm uh, does not correlate with the segmentation of the nephrogenic cord. So the nephrogenic cord produces the pronephros, mesonephros, and metanephros.